Hi, Michael here. Welcome to the channel. February 1, 2023. Uh, we um, have sold yesterday, as you remember, Lyondell, and today we have uh, been buying K12 Inc., which is in a sort of an educational uh, organization. And I'll show you the details of that uh, transaction a little bit later. Uh, yesterday, I was um, not completely right. I'm expecting a very uh, low and slow February month, and maybe even uh, the rest of the first quarter. But the uh, exchanges in Europe have been uh, opening positive this morning. I have been in the green all day. And from what I'm seeing here is that, indeed, uh, we see that Dow and um, Nasdaq are opening positive as well. So um, that all looks uh, very nice. Let's hope we can uh, keep this up. And um, let's uh, share um, the transaction that has been completed 20 minutes ago because we're at 3.50 p.m. Brussels time which means that European markets are going towards the end of their performances and the US just opened. And upon opening uh, the transaction that I've put in earlier this afternoon for 264 pieces of K12 have been uh, executed at a price of 42.93, while my limit price was uh, 43. So that's not a huge discount, but uh, it is what it is. So we've got a new... Um, a new stock in portfolio and let's hope that uh, this one flies because some of the others that we've been buying recently like uh, Sufteco are uh, not yet performing uh, well at uh, at this moment. We'll do our best then to uh, maintain the uh, file obviously because at any time uh, we may need to reinvest again. Um, so the file is uh, reasonably up to date. We've got 11 stocks in the sweet spot and some um, some nice gains here uh, today let's refresh the data and see if that gives something exciting yeah well only the percentages are increasing so it um, it confirms um, the positive atmosphere on the u.s exchanges at this moment as well uh, let's have a look at uh, what the speed sweet spot is at this moment and what the spreads are um Look at that, uh, ranging from 10.5% up to 18.48 uh, for uh, West Pharmaceutical. Now the top, the top seven here are all very positive uh, stocks with um, uh, short, mid, and long-term indicators all in uh, in the positive. But it's only as of the number eight one that we're seeing some green tags here, and the green tags, as you remember, mean uh, that will see a, um, a very short-term upward potential. So when I decided to uh, invest in K12 this afternoon, it was not up here in terms of spreads. I think it was just over 10% in terms of spread, but it um, it did show uh, also a very, sh very uh, short-term uh, strong upward potential. And that's why we've chosen uh, that one to invest. So I'll keep you posted over the next days um to see how this um how this stock is doing and um for now um i'm just uh, thanking you for uh, joining today and watching and uh, come back tomorrow for more news thank you very much